guys, it's Kaz here and today I'm doing my October favourites. I say favourites, I'm definitely going to go into like a bunch of different things rather than just like, hey, here's one thing I watched that's my favourite. I'm going to be like, here's a bunch of things I watched that I enjoyed all of. So first of all, I'll talk about two books that I enjoyed the most this month. The first one being Far From The Tree by Robin Benway. I just really enjoyed this. It was the first thing I finished this month. Well, that's not true, is it? I read this at the beginning of the month and really enjoyed it. It's something that I've been wanting to read for ages. And also, surprisingly, another non-fiction. My September favourite book was a non-fiction book, so that's a thing apparently. Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. This was a great book of essays. If you want to know more about these two, then check out my full wrap up, which I put up at some point before this video. So it'll be in the cards and that, you know, check it out. Next up, and another thing I'm going to do a full video on, or have done, I don't know, timescales. Obviously I'm not a big fan. And that is Inktober. I participated in Inktober in October. It's the first year I've ever done it. It's basically where you draw every day and this thing has got loads of drawings in and stuff. So check that video out as well. I'll, I'll show you the first one. So day one prompt was ring and this is what I did for it. So there's a little preview or not, depending if this video is out before this one. Time scale, who knows. Now one of the things I watched, I did say in my wrap up that I wasn't reading as much, but then I was watching loads of stuff. So I'm just gonna show you first my journal page of all the stuff I watched because it was a lot of things that I can't talk about all of them, but you know, here's what I watched in October. All of these things, you can pause it if you want and have a look what I was watching, lots of stuff. Well first up, obviously, Shane Dawson. Do I need to say any more? I don't even wear makeup and I just found this series absolutely fascinating. I just love Shane. He's the only person who can make an hour long video and I'm like, please make it two hours because I'm just, I love it so much. It never feels like an hour. You're watching it and you're like, why is it finished already? And you've literally been sat there for an hour. And yeah, it's been great. I'm sure everybody knows about the conspiracy palette. If you don't, how? But yeah, been loving the Shane series. It's kind of bittersweet with Shane because he uploads hardly ever, but then when he does, it's so good. So it's like, you allow it. A couple of other YouTube type things, which I watch slash listen to all the time anyway, but I'm going to mention them, is the True Journey podcast and the Jack Mates Happy Hour podcast. I just love both of these podcasts. They're just great. If I'm editing pictures or something, I can just have them on in the background and just have a laugh. So podcasts, who knew? Not me until recently. So I watched a bunch of Netflix in October. I'm just gonna flick through some of them real quick. I watched Daybreak, which just came out and it's like apocalypse and then kids and then it's fun and silly and enjoyable. Check it out. I've also been watching a shitload of Cold Case Files or Cold Case Files Classic. It is what it says on the tin. They're like half hour episodes of cold cases that got solved and then, you know, I just like that sort of stuff. So I've been watching loads of them. I also watched The Politician. This was random. I'm weird, but good. It went a different way than I thought it was. I also wish that the whole thing didn't happen in the first episode because that would have been really cute and that it wasn't cute. And yes. So pretty much all of Monty Python is on Netflix now. So I rewatched The Life of Brian, which is hilarious and great and I loved it. I rewatched The Holy Grail like a month or two ago. So it was time to watch Life of Brian and it's just great. It's my favorite Monty Python film. If you haven't seen it, how? check it out it's hilarious also in a super serial note i finally watched the 22nd of july which if you've been here for a few years you will know is the film that is based on the book one of us which is based on the massacre well, it's not based it's literally non-fiction which tells what happened in the massacre in norway in 2011 so i finally plucked up the courage i was like you know what i can watch that film now that book was just like powerful like i say if you've been here a few years you would have seen me literally crying about it for seven minutes on one of my wrap-ups but i finally got the courage to watch the film i cried a little bit i didn't cry as much as when i was reading the book or after when i was talking about the book but as you can imagine it was very poignant and it was just like it was two hours and it didn't feel like two hours what i will say about the film is if you enjoyed it is that the right word? If you found the story interesting or if you wanted to know more about what happened, definitely read One of Us by 
this is definitely pronounced wrong, Asnesiastad, definitely read that because the one criticism of the film is they follow one specific person and their story and the thing that was so good about the book is that it told everybody's story, whether they survived, whether they died, it told all of the people's stories. That was the one thing that I wasn't a fan of of the movie, they, they focused too much on one person and I mean he is a fucking like a real life superhero just by what happened to him and the fact that he survived and what he managed to do but I would have liked to get to know some more of the people that died in the film because it was a real life tragedy it's something that genuinely happened and I felt like they kind of pushed everybody else all the other victims and, and all the other survivors sort of out of the way so they could focus on one person and that's the one thing that I wasn't a fan of but it's definitely worth a watch but even more so it's worth a read read one of us it will change your life it changed my perspective on things anyway let's bring this video back up and talk about some music so I mean I could talk about a few different things but I'm just going to talk about one song because freaking love this song and that is Ink by Chapter and Verse like literally whenever I listen to this song I can't listen to it one time I have to listen to it like two or three times or four in a row literally pressing replay because it's so good and I mean the music video has literally got no dislikes on it and it's been out for like a year so I mean that tells you something doesn't it so don't, don't be going over there and pressing dislike just to be a troll but also go and check it out because it's it's so good the second half of this page is empty I have been working on it for so long That the papers turn from white to a can of coffee colour I have been working on it for so long Amazing song, it will be linked. Check it out. Talking about music though, I want to talk about two gigs I went to in October and these weren't even photography gigs, these were me enjoying my life, going to see people I want to see. So first up I went to see Road Trip, if you've been here you might have heard me talk about them before. I literally have a bunch of videos from this gig, like nine videos from the gig on this channel because I wanted to upload them just so I can watch them whenever I want even though I literally lost like 10 subscribers when I did that. So check them out if you want to they're great they're a boy band they're english they're not even signed but they're like literally their third ep that came out a few months ago got number one pre-order it beat out taylor swift on pre-order and they're an unsigned band so i mean props to them if you don't even like boy bands you gotta give them props because they're amazing and they do everything themselves and they're so good and you should check them out check their links out they do a lot of covers as well to get like the people thinking, oh they're good, let's check out some of their original stuff. They're just really good. But what I didn't take pictures of are Flood of Red. My actual heart, my Flood of Red. In fact, I'm literally wearing the top now that I got from the gig. I went to see Flood of Red. It was the 10 year anniversary of the first album, Leaving Everything Behind. I haven't seen them for ages because they're not together anymore. They just came together again to do like four dates, just doing this album and it was amazing. They're amazing. I love them so much. They're Scottish. If you like Scottish sounding people, check Flood of Red out because they're amazing. And I just had such a great time. I took no videos, no pictures. I was just in the moment, sing along to every song, the full album. It's one of my favourite albums ever and it was done in full. And I just love them as people as well. They're so lovely. I haven't seen them for years. And as soon as I saw them, I'm like, carry on, oh, big hugs. And we chatted for ages and it just filled my heart up with joy. I absolutely loved it. I love Flutter Red. Check them out, even though they're not even a band anymore. Listen to them because they're amazing and the gig was amazing. And it was a few days before my birthday, so I was like, I don't care about my birthday now. I've had my birthday. My heart is happy. Talking about my birthday though, I did go bowling. That was fun. I haven't been bowling for years. And the first round I came second, the second round I came first. So I feel like I want to go bowling more because I quite enjoy it and I'm all right at it. I can throw it straight it's all good and I've been chatting for ages and nobody cares what I'm saying so I'm gonna leave it there as you can see October was a pretty fun month for me I did some stuff I did some cool stuff I had some fun times I watched some good stuff I went to some great gigs my heart was full I was happy 
it's a great time. So let me know down below what you did in October or if you've watched any of these things, seen any of these things, done any of these things, let me know down below. If you go and check out Flood of Red, come back, tell me how much you love them because you will do. And if you don't, you're wrong. If this is your first video by me and you enjoy it, please check out some of my others. And if you continue to enjoy them, please subscribe, that'd be awesome. Anyway guys, I'll see you in a few days with another video. Bye.